Hello guys, welcome back to another Death Frontier 2 video. My name is Jimmy Shreds, and today we're going to be doing review on the Dragon Onslaught 9mm rifle, which we can get during this lunar event. I'm going to leave my socials down below in the description. Let's get it! So, as always, we're first going to go through the skills and items. So, as you can see, we have Sprinter, Rifle Expert, Headhunter 5, Marksman 5, Reloading 5, Quickshot 5, Hunter 5, Looter 5, Toughness 5, Quick Reflexes 5, Armor 5, and Aim for the Heart 5. I'm going to explain you now everything and why. <coughs> so, we have a Sprinter 5 because I was always a Sprinter. I just prefer Sprint. Sprint is 1. times faster than Jogger. You can go for Jog if you want. This weapon will work very well with the Jog because it has Jog speed in its um, stats. So if you want to go for jog, you can have jog or you can have both. Sprinter and jog combined completely up to you. This is how I play. Rifle Expert 5 because we're using rifles. Headhunter 5 because we're using because um, we need that headshot damage. Uh, Mar a Marksman 5 for the maximum accuracy and aim speed. Reloading 5 for the reload speed, ammo capacity, and walk speed. Uh, quick shot 5 for that uh, aim speed and attack speed. Hunter 5 for damage versus mutated, which is damage against bosses, which is a must if you're boss hunting, highly advised to get it. Looter 5 for the search speed, nothing else matters, it just saves us a second between each loot spot. Uh, toughness 5 for that HP and incoming stun threshold, highly advised to, uh, to get this if you do not have it in your build. You're gonna be surviving, you're gonna have much higher survival rates compared to without, without having it. Because the enemies hit like, like a truck, some enemies really hit hard. Quick, refle quick reflexes 5 for that uh, minus 63 dodge cooldown and plus 75 incoming sun recovery. I highly advise you to get this as well, because when you get into sti uh, sticky situations, you can get out of it due to the quick reflexes 5. It's it's really good. I do not advise you to have armor 5, I still didn't skill reset. Uh, I do go for survivor instead of armor 5. Do not put your skill points into armor 5. Or you can put it into something else. But me personally, I will go for the survivor. And the last is aim for the hard 5. Which gives us 25 body damage. Which can help with some bosses which have, you know, bones, spines, you know. So you cannot hit the head and So you gotta go for the lower part of the body. Now, also what I want to say. This is not a build video. This is a review for this weapon. So have that uh, in mind, okay. Now, we're gonna go through the weapon. As you can see, these are the stats the weapon has. Headshot, body damage, attack speed, mutated, infected, and 25 drug speed. I think those stats are really good. The weapon itself is really, really... Uh, seems really good by the stats. And it's using 9mm rifle rounds, which is uh, around currently around 3 to 4k. Depends. But let's say, on average, it's like 1.2... 1.5 to 2k uh, per, per stack of ammo, is usually. But currently, it's like 3k for for because of the event. Uh, we're using this test stick, which is Reaper Sight. I'm gonna show you the helmet. Okay, this is the helmet we're using. Our gloves. Our body piece. Joggers. And boots. Now I wanna talk about some things. The stats you wanna focus on, uh, when you're building around this weapon, on your hands and headpiece, you wanna have... First stat, you, you must have uh, is headshot. The second stat you wanna focus on is mutated third stat is attack speed fourth maximum accuracy okay so on, on both of these items you want to have those stats those four the extra stats if you can get which can be quite expensive especially if the stats are 45 percent and above is real speed and then body damage why no ammo capacity i think ammo capacity is good but on such weapons like that have really low clip size i find the real speed much better much much more effective no, when it comes to the body piece, you want incoming damage, HP, incoming sun recovery, inventory, and as fifth and sixth stat, you can go for incoming sun threshold and visibility. I do always um, focus on these stats. So first, most important, incoming damage, then HP, then incoming sun recovery, and then inventory. Why incoming sun recovery? I value incoming sun recovery much more over incoming uh, sun threshold, especially in the end game, because when you're fighting those enemies that hit very hard like a truck, that incoming sun threshold is not going to save you. You're still going to get staggered. So you need a lot of HP and very high incoming damage and very high incoming sun threshold, which for majority of players, they won't be able to achieve. I, I, I don't even think I've never tried it. I never tried. I never tested it. So I cannot say 100%. But I'm pretty sure in Ravenwall that you're going to get staggered by no matter what. Like, I highly doubt that somebody can achieve that 
by just thinking from all the items that there are in the game, I highly doubt that we can achieve such a high incoming sun threshold that example Reaper jumps on us or something like that. Like something that hits very hard and we do not get staggered by that. I, I don't think it's possible. Just so I value incoming I, I value uh, incoming sun recovery much more because you'll recover much faster from uh, those stuns. So that's much better for us than trying to build that incoming sun threshold which you need really high as i said because some enemies will hit really hard that's at least how i play my way of play style for the joggers triple sprint sets incoming damage as you can see we have the same upgrade as on the body piece which gives us mutated and infected i'll advise you to get it if you do not uh, have those upgrades if they're really good will help you like just on both both of these equipments that's extra 60 mutated that's quite a lot if you think about it so they can help quite a lot with bossing, you know, spend less ammo and we kill uh, faster. And for the boots, triple sprint stats, dodge cooldown, jog speed, footsteps, noise radius. Some people will uh, prefer instead of footsteps, noise radius, walk speed. You can also go for that. I don't have it on my boots, as you can see, but still it's fine. And Stasic, as I said, we have Reaper side. You can go for something like with mutated, uh, sprint speed, incoming damage and HP. Or like mutated, incoming damage and you know sprint stats or jog stats it depends uh what you're going for right so now this is the uh this is uh, the items and everything that we're using if i miss something i'll put it down in the description as well and also i'm gonna now show you the performance enjoy it And as you've seen, guys, the per the performance is really, really good. I think this rifle is really good. So I'm, we're going to go through the full stats, and I'll give you some extra info, like what attachment to use and some very important uh, things. And is this rifle worth it? Should you get it? We're going to go through the full stats currently. So these are our full stats. Well, we are currently having like a little over 800 uh, DPS. You can get when you mean max. Depends how you play. It's... I, like if you go for the fright mask example and fat man uh, gloves you can get uh, with the reaper sight and everything um like when you win max and use some food buffs and such you can get over 1k dps but with the fright mask and the uh, fat man uh, mittens the issue is you're gonna be having issue you won't be as accurate as i am so that's the the thing here as you as you've seen i focus highly on uh maximum accuracy in this build why because you don't you don't want to miss like you want to hit all those bullets because we're playing rifle and every bullet we miss well that's less damage right 
So I trade a little bit of damage for the accuracy, which I think is win in my opinion. I really like it as it is. So as you can see, we have 77.18 headshot, 3.1 attacks per second, 1.15 maximum accuracy error. You want to get this below 1.2. As, you, as you've seen, I do not have uh, any attachment on this weapon. The attachment you want to go for, if you go, you're going to put any attachment, you either go for the compact scope or a brand new compact scope. I would not be putting brand new compact scope. I think this rifle is not worth it. I do go for just, just compact scope is more than enough. Like, and the thing is with brand new compact scope, like, unless if you already have some uh, maximum accuracy in your gear, like that 5% is not going to make any difference. So like I, I see brand new compact scope only if you do not have like example, if you do not have any maximum accuracy on your gloves and uh, hat, that's the only reason you go for. Okay, so these are some other stats. So as you can see, 137 maximum accuracy, aim to have below 1.2 maximum accuracy error. Uh, this is our mutated 253, as high as possible, the better. Uh, minus 17 kind of damage, the, as high as possible, the better. I'm not going to explain everything here because, you know, triple sprint stats as you can see and blah 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 because as i said this is a showcase i'm uh, I doing item review sorry uh okay now the some other important things some x-ray info so uh we're gonna go like cons and pros okay so uh very cheap to maintain has high damage per hit has high dps no friendly due to very high damage uh, essential stats plus mobility stats so what are the those are the pros what are the cons well clip size and it, it does not have a uh, high attack speed as example uh invader or if you go stairway to hell you know things like that this is more of like um i mean it's it's damage it's dps weapon as well and uh, damage per hit so it's a mixture of both somewhere in between uh this weapon has a higher dps than the sunburn but has a lower damage per hit than sunburn so we can kind of compare it to sunburn so dps wise it wins over sunburn so is this weapon approved in my opinion definitely worth it uh for new players for for regular boss i think it's really good i would not recommend this uh, using it in the rainbow um, heights hospital you can try in commerce and pale havens archives i think that's gonna be fine there but raven wall like especially if you solo i do not advise it stairway to hell is still the best rifle and you know that's more suited for something like that. I hope this video was very helpful. I hope you liked the performance of the video. Please make sure you leave your feedback. What do you want to see in the next different tier 2 video? And, you know, what do you think about the whole weapon itself? You know, your feedback and everything. I appreciate you all, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video of different tier 2. Till next time. Peace.